What is up guys? I am Exotic Gaming and today I am back with another Pixel Gun 3D video. Before I continue on with this video, which will be a review on the Ranger Rifle UP2, I would like to request for each and every one of you guys to follow my social media pages, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Facebook. If you guys follow those pages, then you guys will actually have the ability to have an input on my future videos that I do for my channel. For example, a couple of hours ago I posted something on my Instagram asking you guys which weapon review you would like to see next, and an overwhelmingly large amount of you guys wanted to see a review on the Ranger Rifle UP2, and therefore, that is why I am doing that review for you guys today. So be sure to do that, I have a link to each of them down below in the description, and without further ado, let's jump right into today's review. Obviously, today's review is on the primary weapon by the name of the Ranger Rifle UP2, and right off at the start here, when we look at this weapon in the shop, menu, we can see that it is a very good looking weapon. The tan coloring with the red orange does make for a very good looking weapon, and besides the fact that it looks good, it actually performs very well. It has a 24 lethality, and that paired with a 97 firing rate makes this a very solid assault rifle. So, without further ado, what we are going to be doing is we are going to jump into a medium range map, because medium range is the best range for this weapon. I would not recommend using this weapon at long range, just because it only has a 2 times zoom, and 2 times zoom generally is not the best range for this weapon and for long range or no for close range sorry you should not use this just because for close range it will have a much bigger disadvantage over what you would have with say the storm hammer or an area damage weapon so if you can manage to find a map like what i just did here with paradise resort this is pretty much the best sort of map for this weapon because you will have some close medium and long range gameplay with this you'll be able to experience the whole thing with this weapon and it's an overall really good buy i like this weapon a lot and really the only big downfall with this weapon is the fact that it does run out of ammo pretty quickly but if you are one of those people who does not spray and pray this really shouldn't be that much of a problem because it it doesn't really run out of ammo that insanely quickly you do have to be prepared to spend three coins for more ammo that's just kind of the way it works with this weapon you're going to have to spend three coins for more ammo that's really just how it works with this weapon when you first get the weapon you will actually run out of ammo very quickly but if you do manage to kill a couple of people they will drop ammo and each time somebody drops ammo you will actually collect 25 more bullets and with those 25 more bullets you're sure to be able to get at least one or two more kills so if you can manage to kill those people and pick up that dropped ammo you should be set throughout a decent amount of time in the match but you will eventually have to buy more more ammo for three coins as you guys can see here I only have 17 more shots with this weapon and it doesn't seem like these people are really actually dropping anything so that's kind of the way it works I did just run out of ammo there so you do run out of ammo with this weapon but when you spend three coins to buy more ammo you will get 125 bullets but like I said before be careful when using this weapon because you will go through those bullets insanely quickly a lot quicker than you guys will think so do not spray and pray with this weapon if you're the type of player who likes to use the automatic peacemaker for like 10 minutes straight in a match just holding down that firing button do not with this weapon because you will spend a lot of coins on more ammo and you you just won't get the best gameplay in the world with this weapon so if you are the type of person who likes to do that then I would recommend getting the assault machine gun over this one just because the assault machine gun does have a much higher capacity but if you are the type of person who does not spray and pray this is a great weapon just because it has a very very good damage and it's unique because it has a two time zoom most assault rifles in Pixel Gun 3D have a 4 times zoom, so having a 2 times zoom one, this will actually be able to have better gameplay at closer range than some of the other ones, like the Marksman and such. So, let's go get some more kills here, and as we talk about this, I would like to say that at first person mode, it looks absolutely fantastic, as you guys can see here. Like I said, I mean, the red-orange with the tan looks great. It's one of the better looking weapons. It's actually probably one of my most favorite looking weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. Like I said before, I believe it was either the Vacuumizer review or the Alien Blaster UP2 review. I love the way how Really Soft has stepped up their game in designing these weapons. In the past updates, a long time ago, weapons didn't look too great, but 
now they look really really cool and i really really like the way they designed them as you guys can see here you can get a lot of kills really quickly with this weapon but you have to manage to get those headshots because if you do not then you will find that you will die a lot because these people who actually can use weapons that don't even need to really get headshots with will have a much better advantage so if you go up against somebody who has the prototype and you only get body shots against that person you will probably die against that person and if you go up against somebody with the laser minigun and they are getting those body shots and you are getting those body shots they will have a much better advantage but if you can manage to get headshots like I did right there and that person was only getting body shots sporadically then uh, you know you're gonna be able to have that upper hand advantage and you will be able to take those people out and even though you come across Adam and armored players you know you're probably going to be able to take out a pretty good proportion of them about I'd say 60% of the adamant armored players that I've encountered I've usually been able to kill with this unless they have the storm hammer and then in that case about I'd say 15% of the adamant armored players that I've encountered I've been able to kill it's not really that many so if you if you see a bunch of players with adamant armor and the storm hammer uh, my best advice with this weapon is to just avoid them don't try to run towards them like suicide mission like I did just there and expect to get a kill because you won't they have a one-shot kill weapon, or two-shot if it's an adamant armored player, and it's just, it's not going to give you a kill. You know, I, that's just really the best way to get some decent gameplay in Pixel Gun 3D. I just see so many people just running at enemy players if they have the Storm Hammer, and it's, it's really not what you do. I tend to do that a lot for my reviews just because I want to show you guys how quickly you can get kills with a certain weapon, but if I'm playing offline, I actually play kind of cautiously. I don't really just run into a group of 10 people like I normally do in a review, and I stay off to the side if I'm using, like, say, an assault rifle or the prototype or such like that. If I was using the prototype offline, like not actually in a video, I would probably just go up to the top of this lighthouse here and just be there for several minutes at a time but I wouldn't obviously do that in a re review just because it would be up to like 20 seconds between different uh, kills that I would get and you know sometimes you don't really want to wait a minute and a half before you actually get a kill so I'm doing it this way just because you can get a lot more kills really quickly and as you guys can see here this is a perfect example at long range that it's it's not the best at long range um, you do have to always use the scope at long range do not try to use this without the scope as you guys can see here it's just like a lot of other weapons where if you try to use this without the scope the crosshairs do get increasingly larger which will make it less and less accurate so that's very important when using this weapon you have to always use the scope unless you are right up next to somebody like I am right now but if you see somebody at a decent range like this guy in the blue right here you're gonna have to use the scope if you really want to get that kill um, if you don't then just be prepared that a lot of those shots that you're gonna fire are going to miss and uh, as long as you use the scope you should be good for a lot of the time you know obviously sometimes you won't be good and that person will just have a better aim than you will but you will have a much better advantage when using the scope than you would with without so let's go buy some more ammo here as you guys can see I've bought a lot of ammo so far in this match a lot more than I would with other weapons so be prepared don't buy this weapon if you don't really want to spend three coins in a match for more ammo, if you really want to use this the entire length of the match. There are other assault rifles which will provide you with a lot better gameplay over a long period of time without spending three coins for more ammo. Once I die here, I'll show you guys which ones actually would pertain to that rule, because there are quite a few that run out of ammo a lot slower than this one. If we go into the shop menu, we can see here that the ones that would pertain to that are the Secret Forces Rifle, the Crystal Laser Cannon, the Assault Machine Gun, definitely, this is probably the best one for long time gameplay, um, the Marksman is another great one, the Hellraiser, pretty much any one is better in terms of how long you use it. And as you guys can see there, I got second place in that match, even though other people People were using storm hammer and adamant armor and I was still able to get second place there with 34 kills in about six minutes of gameplay so you can do a lot of really devastating damage to people in a very short amount of time with this weapon if you are prepared to spend three coins for more ammo I love this weapon to death guys um, I'm not gonna say that ten times like I did with my last review but I do I really like this weapon this is one of my most favorite ones in this updates I I kind of am probably going to review some of my most favorite weapons first currently right now in pixel gun 3d in this new update and then I'll go to my least favorite ones later on just because you know why why review your least favorite ones first It doesn't really make sense so, as you guys can see here, it's it's doing a decent amount of damage to each and every one of these people, and if you can find a match where not everybody has adamant armor, 
you're pretty much set. As you guys can see here, I'm in a match where there's a great range of armor. There's like one or two or three players with adamant armor. There's a couple of players with like iron armor and such, and that is probably the best range of armor levels that you could have. I'm not entirely sure why that guy decided to just run into the sea and commit suicide there. That didn't really make much sense, but it's it's a great weapon, guys, and you can get some very, very good gameplay with it. Um, I do like the scope. It's a very standard scope, but, you know, I do like the dot in the middle and the crosshairs. It's just, that's my favorite type of scope with the weapons. I don't really like the scopes that you find with weapons like the Hitman pistol, which is right over here. I don't really feel like this is the best type of scope for a weapon, especially at longer range, because you have to kind of guess the center of the crosshair. But with this one, you know where the center of the crosshair is without really much trouble at all. Uh, you do have to reload a lot with this weapon just because it only has 25 bullets in a magazine. So you just have to be prepared for that, or clip, I should say. I don't remember. I, I still don't know if it's clip or magazine. I just say both at sporadic times, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. So anyways, let's continue on here. Let's go get some more kills. Not much trouble at all getting kills left and right with this weapon. It's a good gun. It's a good gun. And it took me about two or three times before I found this match here. You're not going to always find a match where you're going to get your best gameplay possible. And my personal opinion is if you join a match and everybody using adamant armor and the storm hammer just leave that match unless you prepare to use the storm hammer as well because i mean why why use something different than what every other player is using in that match and actually expect to get decent gameplay it's not really going to work out like that like this guy right here he's using the laser minigun and the storm hammer and if everybody else in that match was using that it just i would probably have left and it seems like more and more people are using that in this match and i don't really want to be in a match where every single player is doing that so depending on how many times i get killed by the storm hammer i might just leave but um i might also show you guys what i would do otherwise in a match like this i would be out up here at the top of this lighthouse where the people can't really get to me and i will show you guys what you would do you go snipe down from below unfortunately it does have the two time zoom so not really the best for a longer range shot but you can still get headshots pretty easily just gonna run out of this so i can buy some more ammo real quick and it's a good gun guys it's a good gun it is somewhat difficult to get long range gameplay but just be sure to get a couple of headshots here and there and you should be good i'm almost done killing this person here should kill him and just like that i was an assist unfortunately but you get the deal you can kill people pretty easily with this weapon especially if you can manage to get those headshots and headshots are pretty easy to get with this weapon just because you have such a fast firing rate so a majority of them will actually be able to headshot there are certain weapons in pixel gun 3d where if you use them then uh you have to be you know almost always getting those headshots but with this one you can get headshots 75 percent of the time and you will still get some very very good gameplay with it i love this weapon guys and um that's pretty much it, all I have to really say about this gun. Other than get it if you are, you know, going up against the Ruby Armored players. And if you're an Adamant Armored player, or if you go up against the Adamant Armored players, if you just, you know, are prepared to spend three coins for more ammo, then get it. But if not, then get the Assault Machine Gun instead, because the Assault Machine Gun is just as powerful. You can, you can watch my review on the Assault Machine Gun if you guys would like. Um, I do have a review for that. I'll put that as a link down below in the description, along with my social media links and uh that's pretty much it so i hope you guys did enjoy this review on the ranger rifle up2 if you guys did then be sure to hit that like button comment favorite and subscribe to my channel for more pixel gun 3d videos be sure to check out every other weapon review i have done on my channel as well i did two weapon reviews just recently over the past couple of days i did a review on the alien blaster up2 and a review on the vacuumizer so you guys can check both of those out also some of my old older ones where i actually got some decent gameplay with some of my older ones as well be sure to check out my snowball gun up2 review and my brave patriot review to actually get some really good gameplay footage with both of those weapons despite being in some of the highest level brackets and with people with the highest armor levels so other than that let's go get one more kill here uh, or until we die that could be a possibility um we died there so yeah i'll end it here thank you all for watching and i will see you all in the next episode